Introducing the Walter Camp Football Foundation Connecticut Player of the Year Award, please welcome Walter Camp Vice President Mario Coppola. Good evening, everyone. It is my honor and pleasure to introduce this year's Connecticut Player of the Year from Boston College, Kevin Pierre Lewis. As a Boston College alum and season ticket holder, I have had the opportunity to watch Kevin throughout his stellar career as a standout outside linebacker and leader of the BC defense. Kevin was born and raised in Norwalk, Connecticut. He attended the King's School in Stanford, where he excelled both in the classroom and on the school's basketball, lacrosse, and football teams. Kevin led the football team to consecutive Fairchester Athletic Association titles in 2008 and 9. Kevin capped off his senior year by being selected as the 2009-2010 Connecticut Gatorade Football Player of the Year. Kevin's career at Boston College was impressive from beginning to end. He started every game in which he was in uniform. As a true freshman, he finished the season second on the team in tackles and was named ACC Defensive Freshman of the Year and selected to the Rivals.com Freshman All-American team. Throughout his career, Kevin was routinely one of BC's leaders in tackles. During, his, during Kevin's senior season, he capped in Boston College back to a winning record in a bowl game. In a key win against Virginia Tech, Kevin posted eight solo tackers, tackles and an interception, which he returned for a touchdown. His play during that game earned him ACC Linebacker of the Week honors, but most importantly, turned around the season for Boston College. Kevin ended his career at Boston College by earning ACC First Team Honors from the Athletic Coast Sports Media Association and ACC Coaches. Now back in 2011, Kevin's former defensive coordinator Bill McGovern was here at this very dinner and uh, he was here to honor Kevin's teammate Luke Keekley at that time. And he told me that there was a great young freshman on his team named Kevin Pierre Lewis from Norwalk, Connecticut and that Someday we would be honoring him as our Connecticut Player of the Year. And here we are exactly four years later, and, and Coach McGovern could not have been more right. Over the past few years, so many people associated with the Boston College football program have raved to me about what a great young man Kevin is. A young man of great intellect, ability, and character, a fine leader both on and off the football field. Kevin, putting aside your great football stats, it's for those reasons that I am truly honored to present to you my fellow BC Eagle as this year's Connecticut Player of the Year. Hopefully uh, my Boston College education will help me out a little bit. But um, first and foremost, I'd like to thank Walter Camp and his family because without them, I wouldn't be able to receive such an award. Um, I would also like to thank the countless volunteers that put this event together and the Walter Camp Selection Committee for recognizing the efforts that I put forward this past season. It's a blessing, honor, and humbling experience to be a part of such a great weekend. Even though, even though I would like to thank everyone, I would first start with my father, Windsor, for making the sacrifices he has to make me become the man I am today. And the Gallons, Dan and Kathy, for becoming a second family of mine. With all the support I receive, I only wish to give, if not more, that much back. And I say thank you to the entire Boston College community, my teammates, Coach Adazio, Coach Brown, and lastly, congratulations to the other award winners. May your successes continue on and off the field. Once again, thank you. That is fant fantastic. Uh, we should point out real quick, Coach Adazio is over here. Yeah, you want to stand up, Coach? 
Coach Brown, too. There he is. Well, you got the vice president of the foundation and the governor. You, got, you and Andre got a lot of guys riding your coattails on this BC thing tonight. Yeah, I mean, BC, we're trying to take it over the East Coast. That's all we're trying to do. I, I, that's admirable. And it was kind of nice that Keekley graduated, right? Because he used to tackle everybody, and he didn't leave anybody else for you guys to tackle. Yeah, it was definitely tough trying to uh, rack up a couple of tackles. Definitely uh, feels as though I got more assisted tackles than solos that year. Uh, you're here with the guys from Florida State and Texas. Florida and Texas, we hear that all the time. When you go out, and uh, perhaps not entire East Coast dominance, but what it means to you to be a football player from the state of Connecticut. It means the world to me, honestly. Just uh, a state that's not recognized for football. And to have players like myself, uh, Bill Romanowski, and other Connecticut guys just excelling in the sport. And you talked about helping people along the way. Uh, what do you do when you're, when you're a freshman orientation leader? You, you just give back. Boston College is a, is a community. You, once you step on the campus, you feel that family feeling. So all you have to do is just give back. The Jesuits always teach that, giving back men and women for others ever to excel. That's our motto. Okay, and one last thing. There is a, a, a Kevin Pierre Lewis that plays defensive back for Colorado State. How do I know you're not him? Uh, I mean, I have the birth certificate in my back pocket. I always have that with me, so we can check that after this event. We believe you. Thank you very much. Kevin Pierre Lewis.